Hello and welcome you all. Dear students, this topic is solved numericals on amplitude modulation. It is the topic from the subject uh, PCS for second year ENTC students. We will be solving few numericals to get an idea how to make use of the formulae. Earlier, in the earlier session, we have derived uh, the particular derivations like to calculate the power, to calculate the modulation index and so on. I have made a list of formulae. Only these formulae are sufficient to solve any numerical related to amplitude modulation. So, uh, without wasting the time, uh, we will discuss this formulae while solving a particular numerical. <clears throat> Let us start the numerical. First problem is a modulating signal. This equation is given for equation uh, for the modulating signal is used to modulate a carrier signal. This is this is the second equation which is given for carrier signal. Find percentage modulation, sideband frequencies, and a bandwidth. For the reference, I have drawn the uh, diagram, uh, rather spectrum for amplitude modulation, a uh, modulated wave. We know that the center part is EC, that is amplitude of carrier wave. We already derived this expression. These are this is LSB lower sideband. This one is USB upper sideband. Its frequency is FC minus FM. For USB frequency is FC plus FM. Bandwidth is upper frequency minus lower frequency. So FC plus FM minus FC minus FM. So it becomes 2 FM. And amplitudes of upper and lower sidebands are MEC by 2 each. Now, uh, how to solve this numerical? First, we need to calculate the percentage modulation. From the given equation, see, first I will consider the equation of modulating signal. It is given as 15 sine 2 pi into 10 raised to 3 t. This is for modulated, modulating signal. So this 15 represents value of EM. That is amplitude of modulated wave. Now related to this, I will write the standard formula like 2 pi FMT because it is the modulating signal. So I am using notation FM. If you just compare it, value of EM is 15, value of FM is 10 raised to 3. So first value I got FM is equal to 10 raised to 3 hertz. Same way we'll write the given equation for EC signal that is the uh, carrier signal which is given as 25 sine 2 pi into 5 into 10 raised to 4 t same logic related to this write the standard equation EC sine 2 pi f t very simple so if you compare it then you will come to know EC is equal to 25 and if you compare this, I will write this suffix as C because it is for carrier signal. So we can write FC is equals to 5 into 10 raised to 4 hertz. So from the given equations, I have calculated value of EM. We got EM is equals to 15 and EC is equals to 25. These values I have calculated from the given equations. Now first part, we need to calculate the value of a modulation index. So we have the list of formulae. M stands for modulation index which is given as EM upon EC. So M is first formula I am using EM upon EC. We need this value in terms of percentage because percentage modulation is asked. So into 100 answer will be in terms of percentage. So simply put the values it is 15 upon 25 into 100. If you just uh, do this calculation this value will be 0.6 into 100 so it becomes 60 percent this is the value of modulation index and value of m normal value of m without percentage we got it 0.6 next part we need to calculate sideband frequencies and a bandwidth now for this you need to remember this diagram which we have already discussed in the last session uh, to calculate the sideband frequencies, there are two sidebands, lower sideband and upper sideband. The frequency of uh, lower sideband is FC minus FM. So, I will write the frequency of lower sideband FC minus FM. Simply just by referring diagram, I am doing this calculation. So, value of FC, we have 5 into 10 raised to 4 minus FM is 10 raised to 3. So, if you simplify this, you will come to know this value is 49 kilohertz. Next, this is the value of uh, 
side band, lower side band frequency, this LSB. Similarly, for USB, upper side band frequency is FC plus FM. Again, I am referring this diagram FC plus FM. So it is 5 into 10 raised to 4 plus 10 cube. So this becomes 51 kilohertz. These are the values of FC minus FM and FC plus FM. Now to complete the diagram, uh, I need to calculate these amplitudes also. EC we have already uh, this value of AC 25. So in place of EC, you will be writing, you will have to draw the new diagram and in place of EC, you will have to write value 25. Then this value we have calculated, it is uh, 49 kilohertz. You need to write this value. This is 51 kilohertz. Again, you will be writing this frequency. Now, uh, to complete the diagram, you need to calculate the value of MEC by 2. Very simple. So, you just have to put the values MEC by 2, which is M is 0.6 into EC. EC is 25 upon 2. So, this value is 7.5 holds. So in place of this magnitude MAC by 2, you will be putting value 7.5. Now, last part is calculation of bandwidth. Bandwidth is basically 2 FM. We have the value of FM. So it is 2 into 10 raised to 3 hertz, which is 2 kilohertz. That's it. So this numerical is pretty simple. You just have to remember this diagram, which we already studied. And you just have to make use of simple formulae. The next problem is AM transmitter has carrier of uh, 550 watt. This given value is in terms of watt and it represents the carrier power. So carrier power is denoted by PC that is 550 watt which is given in the question and modulated at a depth of 65% means value of M is 65% which is same as 0.65. Find power in transmitted wave and power saving in first part DSBSC, second part SSBSC. What is this? Double side band suppressed carrier means you are you are suppressing the carrier and you are uh, transmitting only two side bands. And uh, second part is single side band suppressed carrier. You are suppressing carrier and transmitting single only one side band. Okay. So first part total power. We have the list of all the formulae. Second formula represents the total power. So PT is equals to PC into 1 plus M square by 2. So simply we just have to put the values. It is 550 in the bracket 1 plus 0.65 square upon 2. So these calculations are pretty simple. Directly formula based numericals uh, we are solving. So uh, value of PT will be 666.18 watt. This is the total power. Now, <clears throat> remaining part is conceptual. We have to calculate power saving in first part DSBSC. Formula of power saving is this formula number 4, which is given by PT minus PSB upon PT into 100%. We have got the value of PT. We need to calculate value of PSB. PSB is the side band power. Now, we have the values of PLSB that is power of lower side band and power of upper side band. There are two side bands, upper and lower side bands. So each power is given by M square PC square upon 4. So for lower side band, it is M square PC square upon 4 plus value for upper side band. Same formula is there. So it is M square PC square by 4. Do remember DSBSC means we are transmitting both side bands, lower side band and upper side band. So I am adding powers of both side bands using formula number 3. So if you simply put the values, value of M is 0 0.65, PC is 550 uh, watt upon 4. Just solve this, you will get this answer as 116.18. This is the value of PSB, power in side band, watt. Now we have the formula of power saving. So power saving is PT minus PSB upon PT. That is PT is 666.18 minus PSB, this value 116.18 upon, this is 18 upon 666.18 into 100%. So if you solve this, answer will be 
55% means you are just transmitting two side bands and suppressing carrier you will get a power saving of 82.55% uh, third uh, second part SSB SC you are you have to just transmit a one side band single side band now in this case we have to make use of same formula formula number four only value of PSB that is power in side band will change here we have considered both upper and lower side band instead of that I will be considering only one side band so equation will be m square pc square by 4 again if you put the values of m pc then answer will be 58.09 watt now we have the same formula of power saving pt minus psb in place of this psb this value is 58.09 remaining things are as it is so answer will be 91.27 percent that means if you are transmitting a single side band only one side band and suppressing the carrier there will be power saving of 91.27 percent the next problem is for receiver with if and rf frequencies these two frequencies are given 455 kilohertz and 900 kilohertz now uh, remember simple notation IF frequency is denoted by FI so it is 455 kilohertz and uh, RF frequency this RF frequency is denoted by FS which is 900 kilohertz determine first part local oscillator frequency image frequency and IFRR this is image frequency rejection ratio with Q is equals to 80 now first part local oscillator frequency we have the ready made formula f0 is equal to formula number 5 fs plus fi so simply put the values it is uh, 900 plus 455 kilohertz both these values are in kilohertz we know that 1 kilohertz is equal to 10 raised to 3 hertz and uh, 1 mega is uh, corresponding to 10 raised to 6 <coughs> so if you just convert it into megahertz it will be 1.355 megahertz because these values are given in kilohertz not necessarily you can well write the answer in uh, kilohertz so this is the answer of first part second part this is first part second part image frequency we have the formula of image frequency it is denoted by fsi so image frequency is fs plus 2fi Again, it's pretty simple. FS is 900 plus 2 into 455. All these values, do remember, they are in kilohertz. So, again, if you simplify it and you will get the answer, you will calculate the answer in megahertz. It is 1.81 megahertz. Now, third part. Third part is image frequency rejection ratio. It is denoted by alpha and uh, it is under root of 1 plus q square rho square this value of rho is given as first we will calculate this value of rho it is fsi upon fs minus fs upon fsi so put the values fsi we have 1.81 megahertz <coughs> divided by fs is in kilohertz so value of fs is 900 kilohertz you need to make the proper conversion or to make the thing simple convert everything into hertz like 1.81 into 10 raised to 6 900 into 10 raised to 3 and so on minus fs that is 900 uh, kilohertz upon uh, fsi 1.81 megahertz so if you solve this value of rho will be 1.5138 now if you just put the value of rho in the formula of alpha you will get <coughs> 1 plus q square rho square so simply you just have to put the values 1 plus 80 square into 1.5138 square so this answer will be 121.1 so uh, this is the way uh, to solve the numericals as far as amplitude modulation is concerned you just have to refer only this formula and first numerical which we have solved is conceptual because it is related to the derivation and that derivation we have already done so that's it for today's session so thank you thanks a lot